fam how are you doing today welcome back to my channel my name is toby achidume welcome to another vlog so today is um sunday and i woke up a lot earlier than i should on a sunday morning because today i want to visit the music de Brandly. i hope that is how it is pronounced um and then and because i know that it's going to be a long day i had to do a few things this morning because i do not want to come back home and exhaust myself the more by trying to do all the things i was supposed to do so what i did was um woke up earlier to do my sunday normal activities like planning the week and all of that earlier and then started getting ready for church which is what i'm doing now so i already have my face on i just need to apply my lipstick and um i am using i'm going to line my lips with the nyx or nyx whichever one you call it matte lip liner i forgot the color and i think oh no club hopper and then i'm going to use Joel's lipstick matte lipstick in shade four number four i'm going to leave the link in the description box so that you can check out Joel's lip collections they are very nice they apply matte but they don't leave your lip very dry and i know because i have dry lips the com the ingredients and all of that would give you a matte finish but will not leave your lips dry and cracking so i'm going to leave the link in the description bar where you can get this if you want to most of my new colors i got from this because i love the nude and the way they apply it. i'm going to show you when i apply it The other nude that I have from them, I'm, I've used a lot of times, and I'm sure you've seen it and how it um, applies, but you're going to see this one now. I love this color. I saw it on her and I was like, I definitely want this. So this is what you get. This is what you get when you use the this particular one number four so you can leave it like this or you can apply a gloss i normally would apply a gloss on my matte lipsticks but since we are still in mask season i don't do that as often again and that's why i know that this doesn't leave your lips breaking so after i have used my lip moisturizer or lip oil or lip gloss before i apply anything I do not do anything over it because we are still in mask season where I am. We are still wearing mask everywhere. And so, yeah, it would just not make sense to use a gloss over it because it's going to come off with the mask. So this is how it looks. I'm going to leave again the link in the description bar, the Instagram handle and how you can order for if you want it in Nigeria. However, we have not started doing international shipping. <laughs> We're going to start very soon though. Yeah, so... I'm going to go and put on my outfit for church and then I'm going to head out. Yeah.
Okay, so now we are getting into the museum. the museum now first of all when I was okay when I was trying to go in I was trying to fix my mic <laughs> and I did not know that I had frozen up to the point of I could not even feel my hand that's how frozen I was like my fingers were not pinning anything <laughs> to anywhere but yeah, so I am out now. I want to get something to eat. I'm really hungry. So I want to see if I can get something to eat before I go home so that when I get home, I am... Oh, there's a cafe here. I don't know if it's just coffee or... Because I don't want coffee. Like, I want food. She says like she's going to eat the food. Let's see what they have on the menu and then decide hello okay definitely not um yeah so i came out to the musée i forgot what it's called i'll check it and i'll put it here it's brand new museum i forgot what it's called in french so um yeah to come and see the ex exp yeah to come and see the exposition so they had um different ones they had from africa to am i on the right path i think so yeah music cape brandy that was that's it that's what it's called so now i am just yeah to come and see the the expositions on sundays on the first sunday you can get in for free so i decided to take that opportunity and then just come out and see what they had there so it was good i had fun now walking through the garden let me see if yeah so this is it okay let's zoom out oh no not this okay great so this is it it's just covered in and then that's the entrance into the museum <sighs> so yeah it was fun and it was a great way to spend sunday the walk i think today is just a busy day plus the holiday starts the school holiday starts from today so a lot of kids are outside with their parents and so there are parks outside as well i i saw some coming i think i put it in the video already and then so it was quite busy not very quiet 
but it was still fun like lots of expositions there were so many that i couldn't show because i just wanted to see the art and all of that so now what do we eat while i was inside i was checking for close restaurants that were close by to get something to eat i saw one it's italian so i'm just going to see if i can get yeah, maybe pizza to eat there my problem with that is that their pizza are always very big and i end up taking it home but it's better than nothing and then yeah so let's go guys so when i was walking down to the restaurant i wanted to try i saw this really nice restaurant and now i'm like oh because i already put my mind on having pizza or pasta i'll just keep going and then i walked down to the one i originally wanted to get to and i don't like the setting so guess what i'm doing now walking back to the one that i just walked past i hope that i can get the what's it called i hope that i can get the eiffel tower by the hour when it lights up before i go home so if i do it will be nice to show you that if i don't it will be another time picnic with my best friends we start to plan what we will do so this is it i don't know what i'm going to have yet i'm just going to go in and then yeah my best friends we start to plan what we will do Apart from the cold, that was really cold, it was an amazing day. So, the day started off, I mean, it, the weather forecast already said that it was going to rain today. But this morning, when I was getting ready for church, it was not raining and the weather didn't look very cold. But when I was going to church, I could not vlog because I was this close to being late to church. <laughs> so close anyways and i didn't want that so i did not vlog this i could not vlog going to church and all of that aside from getting ready makeup and then the intro that i had to do i just did not do any vlogging on my way to church nothing nothing yeah i didn't do that because i was trying to be early i was five minutes to being late that's how close to late i was today but yeah it was a so the good day it rained almost all through so like it would rain an hour and then stop for 30 minutes and that kind of thing but it wasn't like heavy rain so we could still walk in it but i had my umbrella of course <clears throat> and so because it was raining i kind of did not in the moment feel the cold until i had to clip <laughs> it was so funny i had to clip the mic on my top and I couldn't press it. Like I was trying so hard to press it, I couldn't press it. I ended up using the hand that had been in my pocket to pin it to the other side. So I don't even know if the audio is good at this point. But yeah, so it was really cold and then 
when I got into the museum. The museum, by the way, was very nice. I said today was a free pass, so every first Sunday of the month, yeah, every first Sunday of the month, you get free passes to some museums and um, what's it called? Tourist attractions in France. Some some of them not all of them but some of them i'll put a link in the description bar for the ones that you get a free pass to if i find it and do the compilation before this vlog has to go up i'll put that in the description bar so it was a very cool and beautiful place it had a very beautiful garden i think i showed a clip of the garden i did not vlog a lot inside the museum only because some of the places were really dark because they only had um, lights on the things that they wanted you to see inside the museum. So some of the hallways and all of that were dark, so you wouldn't even see. And then, yeah, the historical arts and crafts and everything, it looked really beautiful. And then you could just see history, the importance of, of um, what's it called, taking account and taking note or history. I can't remember what it is called. Just making sure that you have the facts in place like keeping memories and all of that and that's why it is very important to write that's why i join out i join out because i want to be able to go back in time and see what i have prayed for what i have set as goals and see them when they have become like so i write down my goals today i want to be able to come back in five years and see that i wrote this goal and this goal has been executed or I wanted to see this thing and i have now seen it because it is now a testimony for me so keeping memories and that just reminded me of the fact that keeping memories very important there was one of the expositions that i saw and the person that did it took the pictures in 2003 and he said the reason why he did that was because there is a particular historical um, community in China that we don't have any history on because they did not take note of the history and so he didn't want that to happen in this particular community that he did his exposition on and so that was why he did it so it was just important to see all of those things here and there and crafts there were so many crafts that were from Nigeria Cameroon um, South America it was just it was just a beautiful place of history and i know that me saying that it was interesting and nice will sound weird to some people my siblings will probably come for me and say it's only me that can be enjoying going to a museum and all of that but yeah it was nice so it is definitely somewhere that you should want to visit when you come to paris not just the eiffel tower the eiffel tower is beautiful i think i i got a clip of it um when it was lighted by the hour so every hour it comes on and then yeah so i think i got a clip of that and i put it you would have seen it if i put it there and so yeah there are so many other beautiful places that you can visit in france and in paris and one of them is the museum of branley i think another name is called the jacques jacques chirac <laughs> oh my god jack chirac jacques chirac yeah museum so you, it's very nice and it's close to the eiffel tower so you could just be you walking down from seeing the Eiffel Tower and then you just see it. It's like 10 minutes walk from the Eiffel Tower in the winter. I don't know how long it will take you to walk it in the summer, but in the winter we walk faster. So, yeah, so that was very nice. And then the dinner that I had, it was nice as well. It was in the very small quiet area in that place. So it wasn't even as expensive as Eiffel Tower budget, but it was nice and the food was nice. I had... Um, what did I have? You've seen the video or the picture or something. Salmon and chips was what I had. Yeah, that's what I had. And then, yeah, so we have come to the end of this vlog. I wanted to make sure that I ended this vlog today because I realized that I often come back to end my vlog when I'm editing it. And then, yeah, I didn't want to do that. So thank you so much for watching and coming on this beautiful Sunday in my life. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm hoping to be able to do more Sunday vlogs. Yeah. And then, yeah, that is it for me today. I don't have to do dinner again because I already had dinner. So I'm just going to take my makeup off, have my bath, and then settle down to watch service from home. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please do not forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you did. 
and then share with your friends and family as well we're trying to hit 2k subscribers by the end of the year so please help me to get that and then um yeah i will see you in the next vlog have a beautiful evening and enjoy the rest of your week bye Midnight in